Hey, this is Eric Kurtz, and in this video, we're going to take a look at three of the best highlighting tools for students. Now, we're going to look at highlighting inside of a Google Doc, as well as highlighting on a web page. Now, you may say, Eric, uh, can't you already do that inside of a Google Doc? And yes, you are correct. There is a basic highlighting feature built into Google Docs. If I were to come in and highlight some text in a document, and if I go up to the text color button in the top toolbar, I can switch between text color and highlight color. And so if I choose highlight color, yes, you are correct. I can come down here, pick a color, and exactly it kind of colors in behind it, highlights that. I can of course go back up, highlight it, or select it again, and then come to the uh, highlight color and say none and remove that highlighting as well. So yes, that is correct. Highlighting on a basic sense is built into Google Docs. What we're talking about is tools that give us two extra features. Now, the first feature we're going to see here is not only can we highlight um, items with different colors, but we can name the colors. We can uh, label them. We can say, uh, maybe you want the students to find examples of nouns, verbs, and adjectives in a document. And maybe the verbs are red, and the nouns are blue, and the adjectives are green. You can actually label the different colors with what they stand for. Or maybe it's main idea, or we're looking at topic sentences and supporting details, or maybe it's vocab words and their definitions. Whatever the case, we're looking for tools that let us actually label those colors so we can see what they mean. The second feature we're looking for in these tools is the ability to pull together all of the highlighted words and put them into their own document or onto their own screen so that we collect the highlights together and can say, here we go, in this document you can now see all of the nouns, verbs, and adjectives that I highlighted and pulled out. Or here are my vocab terms and the definitions. And so the ability to collect the highlights and pull them together, that's the second feature. So to do that, we are going to need some tools that go above and beyond what we normally have. So to begin with, let's start with highlighting in a Google Doc, then we'll move over to highlighting a web page. So if you're going to do this in a Google Doc, uh, my suggestion is an add-on that is called highlight tool. Well, not very creative, but it is very accurate. Uh, so if you haven't used add-ons, basically we go up to the add-ons menu in the top of the document, give a click there. And in the drop-down, I've already got a bunch of add-ons installed, but if you don't have this add-on installed, you can scroll down to where it says get add-ons, give that a click. And at that point, you either need to scroll down through the available add-ons until you find the one you're looking for. And again, this one is called highlight tool, and well, there it is, excellent. And if you don't find it there, you can always just type in highlight or highlight tool in the search box, and that should come up nice for you. Now, once you do find it, all you have to do is click on the plus free button, and then you'll need to give it uh, permissions to install. And as simple as that, that add-on gets installed. Now, it is being installed to your account, not your computer. So that means wherever you go now, as long as you're logged into your account, if you click on add-ons and you look down in that menu, the highlight tool will be there waiting for you. Excellent. So how does it work? Well, basically, by clicking on add-ons and then, high, then the highlight tool, go over and click on start. Now, I was using this earlier, so I've already got a few things in here, but when it starts off, at first it's blank. You don't have any highlights. And what you begin with is you come up to the top right-hand side of this panel, and there's a big button that says Create Highlighter. So if I give a click on Create Highlighter, it'll let me add additional colors and labels for those. So let me go ahead and try that. We'll click on Create Highlighter. And at that point, we need to pick a color and pick a label for it. Now, I haven't used yellow yet, so let's go ahead and we'll come up here and choose yellow for our color and go ahead and say OK to that. And then where it says highlighter name, we need to put in some sort of a, of a description. Maybe we'll do adverbs. We haven't done those yet. All right, those can be adverbs. And then I click Create. And what it's going to do over here on the right is add that as a new uh, highlighter that I can use, and it's labeling them as adverbs. Now to use this, very, very simple. So I gotta find some nouns. So we'll grab a president and we'll click on the green highlighter. 
and there's country we'll grab that uh, let me see what else how about plantation we'll grab plantation that's a noun now we need some verbs so let's see we've got some verbs in here probably uh, let's see some good ones here studied that's a nice verb for our students and here's uh, owned we'll grab that and for adjectives let's see American that would be a good adjective we'll just grab a few more in here uh, maybe the word local that's an adjective and we won't do any adverbs just for this example and so basically I can go through and I can highlight these words and over on the side I know what they stand for now of course you can unhighlight things as well you can edit these change them as need be in addition to being able to do all this highlighting another neat feature of this is if I go back up to add-ons and I go down to highlight tool I can share my highlighters or import my highlighters with other people so I can give them a file that they can import that has my pre-made highlighters or I can do the same and import the ones from them so that'd be a neat way if you want to go ahead and create these ahead of time for your students they can then import that file just by going to the menu here and they'll be able to have all these highlighters pre-made now remember that was step one we said or feature one we wanted to be able to label what the colors meant well, what was the second thing? Well, second thing is we wanted to be able to collect the highlights together, pull them out of the document and put them in another document. Well, that's gonna be at the bottom of the panel over here on the right. You'll see export highlights. And so I can either do this by sequence, meaning the order they show up in the document, or by color. And in this case, let's do color. That way all the nouns are together, all the verbs are together, and all the adjectives are together. So I'll click on by color give that a moment it's going to generate that new document for us and as soon as it does it gives me a link to it give it a click that document will open and there we go i've got my uh, if i scroll down here i've got my nouns verbs and adjectives and if i scroll on down you will see there are my nouns there are my adjectives and there are my verbs pulled out from that document very very nice so that is our first example um, and for that one that is an add-on called highlight highlight tool works great in Google Documents all right well what about not a document what about a website okay well let's pop over to my control alt achieve website we'll just use that as a simple example and let's say I want to do the same thing here I want to highlight some nouns and verbs and adjectives or whatever it is you're wanting the kids to highlight for this, we're going to want to go with an extension rather than um, an add-on because the extension is going to work on any web page you're at where the add-on is going to be more specific to Google Docs. So the one that we need for this is called Super Simple Highlighter. Now, I've already got it installed, but if you don't, just go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Super Simple Highlighter. I'll also put uh, links to this in a blog post that goes along with this video if you want to click those links to get here as well. Um, and so from the uh, Chrome Web Store, you can just install that. I've already installed it, so it already is installed for me. But if not, you can just install that from the Chrome Web Store. Super simple highlighter. Now, with that installed, if I go back to my website, at first you may say, well, Eric, this is kind of odd. Normally when you install an extension, it shows up in the top right-hand corner, and none of these are super simple highlighter yeah it's one of those that kind of breaks the rules you get to it not from the top right hand corner you get to it from the right click menu so if I were to come in here and say okay let's go ahead and we're going to um, do the same thing nouns verbs and adjectives so I'm going to come in here and find some nouns so here's books that's a good noun I can right click on that and when I do if I come down to super simple highlighter I can now see red orange yellow green cyan purple and gray as my options uh, so let's say we you know go with blue again for um, our nouns I can start highlighting things like books and we'll find a few more in here a few more nouns uh, here's presentations give that a right click go to super simple highlighter that one's going off the bottom of the page here we go <laughs> right click go down to super simple highlighter make that one blue let's find some verbs as well uh, reading we'll grab that and we'll make that one red and then we still do need our adjectives so um, let's see if we can find here we go linear that's a good adjective for us and we'll come in and uh, I think we were going with green for those and so I can go through and I can highlight each of these and 
or select each of these and then right click on then choose the color that I want to apply um, to those. And now that I have these highlighted, you will notice I do have the little extension icon up in the top right hand corner in the URL bar. It only shows up there after you've begun highlighting things, otherwise you get to that by, by, by selecting and right clicking on a word. But now that I've done that, now the um, extension icon does show up. So I can come up here in the top right, give a click on that, and what it will do is it will show me all of my different uh, words that I have highlighted. And we can do a number of other things with that, which we'll do here in just a moment. But remember we said two things that we want to be able to do, and the first one is we want to be able to name what these different uh, colors stand for. So to do that, instead of clicking on the extension normally, instead I'll do a right click on it, which allows me to open up the options for the extension. And when I do that, you'll see it gives me all my colors, and I can simply click on any one of these colors to edit it. So if red was going to be verbs, no problem. Give a click on red, and now I could say the title is verbs. And of course I can change the color that goes with it as well. We'll just go ahead and update that. And I could go through and I could rename each of these different colors for what it's going to stand for. And then as we said, the other thing we want to do besides renaming what the colors stand for is we want to be able to collect them together. So again, if I go back up to the top right hand corner and click on the um, uh, highlighter extension icon. I can see them all here, which is great, that's fantastic, but I can also go to this little drop down menu here on the left where it says super simple highlighter, and I can choose to open them in a new tab. So rather than having them just be in that little drop down menu, I can say open in a new tab, which opens up a new window and has all of my highlighted words in that new window. And of course I could print that out or save that as a PDF or whatever I might need to do at that point. All right, so that's Super Simple Highlighter, um, a great extension for highlighting on web pages. Well, one more that we're gonna take a quick look at, and this is one that uh, you've heard me talk about before. That's Read and Write for Google Chrome. Uh, take a look at some of the other posts. We've talked about how this is great for things like text-to-speech. Um, it also well, does a lot of things besides just that. Um, I usually think of it as the Swiss Army knife of extensions. Uh, it also does highlighting. And one of the really neat things about Read and Write for Google Chrome is it works on both Google Documents and on web pages. So I could actually use it on either one of these. So if I come to my Google Doc, let me go ahead and clear out the highlights that we've already got in here. We'll just uh, clear all of our highlights out. I can use Read and Write on this by going up to the little Read and Write pull down uh, button up here in the top. And that gives me my read and write toolbar that includes its own set of highlighters and the ability to collect the highlights. So just like before, I could come in and say, let's grab something like war, we'll make that blue, and president, we'll make that blue, and forces, we'll make that blue, so those can be our nouns, and then things like, um, uh, we'll get back to owned, we'll make that red, uh, died, we'll make that red. And so just like we've done in the past, we can highlight these based upon the type of words we're looking for or topic sentence and um, supporting details or whatever the case might be. And just like the other tools, there is a, an option to collect those highlights together. So after I have highlighted the things I want, I can come up and click on the collect highlights button and it will go ahead and say, well, which colors do you want to collect? I only used a couple of them. Actually, I only used the uh, blue and the red on this one. And you can say, do you want to pull them together by color or by position? Well, by color would group them together. So we'll do that. Hit OK. And it is now generating a new Google Doc that has those pulled together. And there they are. There's my blue words, my nouns, and my red words, my verbs. Now you may say, well, Eric, if this works in a doc, and it also works on a web page. Yep, could do the same thing. I come here to a web page, and you'll see the little read and write extension in the top URL bar. Give that a click, and that brings up the same bar. You say, well, Eric, why wouldn't we just use this instead of having two different ones? Well, um, as far as the reason for that, I love read and write. think it's fantastic, but there is a paid version and a free version. 
the paid version is what you need to get the highlighters, unfortunately. Um, the free version includes like text-to-speech and a few other uh, simple tools. The highlighting tools actually are part of the paid version. So nothing wrong with that at all. Fantastic product and well worth purchasing, but because of the fact that you would have to pay something to get those, I'm adding this as our third bonus tool for those who do wish to purchase that or do have that. If for any reason you don't or are not able to, that's why we have the add-on of highlight the highlight tool, and we also have the super simple highlighter extension that takes care of web pages. All right, good stuff. Well, hopefully that um, gives you guys some good tools to use when you want students to do highlighting, whether it's a web page or a Google Doc. Um, and um, if you want, head over to the Control Alt Achieve website where there's going to be a blog post there that goes along with this video. In there, I'm going to have links to each of those tools as well as some additional detailed instructions on how those work. To get to that, go to controlaltachieve.com slash highlight and that'll take you right into that blog post and of course while you're there check out the other blog posts certainly take a look at all the resources uh, that i've collected here as well as my uh, webinars do about two of those per month you can catch any of the previous ones or look for the upcoming ones as well and of course there is uh, my newsletter sign up for that so you can stay in the loop on the most uh, recent things that um, I'm involved in and putting out there for you guys to use. Again, thank you so very much for watching this video. Take care.